This is the worst part about knife restoration. Is cleaning the buffing wheels off. <coughs> it's just nasty. You can see it's trying to make its way back at, <laughs> back into the garage. Look at all that. I'm telling you, that's nasty work right there, boy. Okay, here's the before. Being attacked by the fuzz. Well, we're done with the cleanup. Now we just got to do the buffing to it. So far, it's looking radiant. I left that centerpiece in there dark like that so it would give it some texture. It looks nice. All right, let's finish her up. Y'all know by now, this is the key. The best. The best there ever was. I don't know if I told you about the two globals I picked up this morning from the library in Norfolk. <coughs> but I'm buffing them up too. I just took all the microchips off. I'll show you some pictures of them. I got the pictures. They'll be ready in a minute. I'm ready to leave right now. The globals are done. You're already seeing the bayonet. It's sharpened now. No reports from any of my uh, spinning buddies. Maybe it later. Tide's not low till an hour from right now. And it's 545. We're going to Franco's tonight for Chris's son's birthday party. So I have to get back to you. Well, you know about the bayonet. I haven't started on it yet. A fella just brought me uh, two pocket knives. Wants me to sharpen. One's a Kershaw, 1725 Galen design. It's uh, got a couple little chips right there in the blade. You should be able to see them. No big deal. And the other one's a Cold Steel Recon 1, Tanto. And it's got a couple of little chips, but one right there that's a little bit significant, but not major. So I'll clean up. I mean, I'll uh, get rid of that and sharpen it up for him. He lives in Hampton. Brought him to me this morning early. I guess we're going back to the bay somewhere today. I'm not sure what, but I'll, I'll let you know later on that. <clears throat> 